Hey Laserheads, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, this channel is dedicated to showcasing of and education about what lasers can do. So if you could please just take a second, hit like, subscribe, or share our content. It really helps us out and it doesn't cost you anything. Um, if you really want to see what our content pops up, hit that notification bell. So in today's video, we're going to answer a very basic question we get asked all the time. What type of laser do I need? Not everyone even understands that there are different lasers out there. So we're going to kind of cover the basics of the two most popular. That's the CO2 and the fiber laser systems. And we'll help you decide maybe which one best fits your needs. So this conversation usually starts off on the phone with, I saw this really cool thing on TikTok or Instagram and it was done with a laser. Most people though don't even take the time to notice what type of laser was used. All they know is I just got to have a laser. So for the most part, laser engraving is done with a fiber or a CO2 laser. So I want to spend a little time to help clarify the difference in those beam technologies. And we're going to get a little bit technical, but it will help you to illustrate the concept. So you kind of understand lasers and you know, you need to know first that there are visible and invisible lasers or infrared beams. Um, all that light falls into the electromagnetic spectrum and the electromagnetic spectrum is measured in wavelength nanometers. So it starts off very tiny with like gamma rays and then you move to x-rays which we've all heard of those if you've had like a broken bone and then uv rays which if you've ever had a sunburn you're familiar with uv and then next are the visible light rays now these are what we see with the visual eye like with your eye so an example would be colors um, this is why we use a red laser beam for uh, positional part placement in our lasers and then we move into the infrared light which is only visible with like special optics or lenses the military uses that and after that are microwaves and radio waves. So most laser technology lands inside the infrared part of that spectrum. A fiber operates at uh, 1,064 nanometers and a CO2 works at 10,600 nanometers. So at the 1,064 nanometers, the fiber laser is a concentrated or finely focused beam mainly used for marking or engraving metal or other really hard, dense substances. So we'll also mark on some industrial grade polymers. That's the short answer. So these lasers are usually very small, like a desktop PC size, kind of like what you see here. Um, they have a small working uh, engravable area with a scanning gavel head for X and Y axis. Um, applications for a fiber laser are in the market, such as serialization on metal or small parts for inventory or tracking, theft prevention. That's just an example. Manufacturers use them for branding or ornamental markings. There's also a market for firearms engraving and customization, as well as many more. I mean, if it's metal, you're only limited by your imagination. Then we move up to the 10,600 nanometer. It's a wider wavelength of the CO2 and the laser will engrave or cut most everything else. These are usually a gantry style laser for the X and Y axis and can range in size from like a desktop model to a large industrial sized piece of equipment. Now some of these machines will fit in a garage and some are, some are gonna require a much larger footprint like a, like a big shop or a warehouse. Um, the CO2 technology can engrave wood, glass, leather, plastics, acrylic, stone or rock, pretty much all your organic materials, but can only etch into or cut harder substances like metals at a very high wattage. So the CO2 is a laser that has probably the widest list of materials it can engrave or cut. And a type of business that could possibly benefit from a CO2 laser would be a trophy shop, uh, marketing companies, wood shops, they use them for jigging or fixturing, and so many more. I mean, these are just some examples. Uh, also, like home crafting, that's gained huge popularity over the last decade or so. And CO2s are great for the crafters or the home-based business. Um, some examples of those businesses are Etsy shops or the stuff you see on Pinterest, where people really shine with a little creativity and a CO2 laser. So as you can see, they are very different in their technology and abilities, and the way the laser beam is generated and delivered on, into contact with the product are distinct. So having both types of lasers, that's how you ensure that you're able to capture all that revenue walking in your door. You're not turning away a cutting board because you don't have a CO2, and you're not passing up a wedding knife set, for example, because you don't have a fiber laser that, uh, that can engrave metals. I hope this video helps you to understand those two different systems. I know it's a lot, and how they can help fit your various applications or your business needs. If you're looking for more information about lasers, please visit our website, www.sailelasers.com, or call our toll-free number, 1-888-964-3568. We live for this stuff. We could talk laser shop all day, and we love the opportunity to talk to you about it.